हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द सीरीज ऑन द इनकम टैक्स केसेस टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द केस ऑफ इनकम टैक्स ऑफिसर वर्सेस स्वन सरिता ज्वेलर्स दिस केस हैज बीन रिपोर्टेड इन 106 जीरो सिक्स आईटीआर ट्रिब्यूनल शॉर्ट नोट सेवेंटी फाइव एंड द मैटर हैज बीन डिसाइडेड बाई मुंबई आईटीएटी जी बेंच एंड द डेट ऑफ द जजमेंट इज ट्वेंटी थर्ड अगस्त टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री एज ऑल वो नो देर वॉज डिमोनाटाइजेशन सॉरी इन द फाइनेंशियल ईयर सिक्सटीन सेवनटीन एंड एट द टाइम ऑफ डिमोनाटाइजेशन देर वॉज पैनिक एमंग all the people and across the country and there was a question in the mind of the people that how to get rid of that cash because there are a lot of implications of the income tax act also so many people choose to purchase the jewelry from the jewelers in the time span of that 4 hours that were available to the people on the day of demonetization that is from 8 pm to 12 pm and there was an excellent opportunity for the jewelers to sell their jewelry in the present case the assessee was a jeweler he was dealing in diamond gold and other precious stones and the assessee availed that golden opportunity of making the sales on the day of the demonetization of rupees 98 lakhs to near about 50 persons and all these sales were kept below 2 lakh rupees because there is a provision that if the cash will be received against a single bill for more than 2 lakh rupees then there is a penalty of equal amount so just to bypass that provision the sale was made below rupees 2 lakh the assessy produced sale bill stock register profit and loss account in which this sale of rupees 98 lakh was duly taken care of and there was an increase in the gross profit ratio preceding in comparison to the preceding year which was a conclusive proof that the assessee has availed that excellent opportunity on the day of the demonetization of making sale to the various customers when the assessment was going on the assessing officer accepted the profit and loss account considered the profit shown by the profit and loss account as income of the assessee and simultaneously taxed under section 68 the amount of cash deposited in specified banking notes under section 68 the matter came before the cit appeal cit appeal gave relief to the assessee so the department moved to the itat and itat held that there is a very importance of the concept of preponderance of probability and according to that concept and in the facts and the circumstances of the case then it can be said that there is no unusual that the assessee which is a jeweler has made sales to more than 50 persons each person having purchased the goods in a amount of less than rupees 2 lakhs and that too in a span of 3 to 4 hours on the day of demonetization this is not unusual this is not against the theory of preponderance of probability so the itat also appealed the order of the cit appeal that if the assessing officer has not rejected the books of accounts of the assessee and has considered the amount of sales shown by the assessee in the profit and loss account and taken that income that is shown by the profit and loss account into the income of the assessee then at the same time taxing the assessee again under section 68 for the same amount is not justified friends this case is important at least for all the jewelers who have deposited the cash on the uh, during the demonetization period and this cash is related to the sales made on the day of demonetization because in the case of jewelers sometimes the department also take the plea that the assessee has not shown the camera clips 
where the customers are coming into the shop of the jeweler so in that case also the tribunal has said that in a very famous case of hira parner jewelers that there is no requirement of the law to produce this type of uh, video recording to substantiate his evidence friends this case is very important at the end of this video once again i am repeating the name of the case the name of the case is income tax officer versus swan sarita jewelers this case has been reported in 106 itr tribunal short note 75 the matter has been decided by mumbai itat g bench and the date of the judgment is 23rd august 2023 thank you friends